Hi folks, thank you once again. Today we're looking at the Dead Rabbit version 2 by Helvag. Yes, this is the version 2, this is the upgrade. We're going to find out. It's a 24mm RDA, it has a dual coil build deck as such, bunny ear style. Along with that, you've also got a different change to the airflow, and on top, you've got an antibacterial AG plus drip tip. Let's crack on. Rabbit version 2 by Hellvate. Now, version 2, some people have been out there going, cash grab, this is a cash grab, rah, rah, rah. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know, because personally, I haven't tried the original Dead Rabbit. Are the differences enough to call it a V2? Who cares? Is it an upgrade? I don't know, I haven't tried the original. If you have, if you have tried the original and you tried the V2, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Um, Personally, I'm a big fan of the Drop Dead. I've used, I've got three of these Drop Deads. Drop Dead RDA by Hellvape. I've used these a long, long time. Really like them. Never had a problem with them. Really like the quality. Really like the style. So I was quite interested to try out the Dead Rabbit. Never really got my hands on it. But end of, was it October time last year? They had a, Hellvape had a little deal on. If you took your original Dead Rabbit to the Vapor Expo UK in Birmingham, they would give you a version 2 in exchange which I thought was cracking. Absolutely great idea. So the V2, let's just start with the first thing, with the styling and the feel of it, all the tolerances, all that kind of stuff. Start right at the top with this antibacterial 810 drip tip they put on top. First of all, it fits very well. I've never actually had a problem with any of the Hell Vape drip tips. I quite like the style of them. They're comfortable. They fit well. The tolerances are spot on with the drip tip. And I like this little ring they put on them as well. Always been a fan of this little fancy ring. 
than a wine. Just a little, another little touch. If you actually look at the Dead Rabbit in comparison to the Drop Dead, very similarly styled. There's not a great difference in size and height. Obviously, they're all both 24 millimeter. Going down from that, where you would adjust your airflow from, I must say it's not the grippiest. In fact, it's not much more grippy than the barrel. There is a slight bit of knurling, but it's not very prominent. You can't feel it on your fingers very well, but it does adjust fairly well. You just have to grip it quite tough. And of course, you can see there, that's all the way open and you can spin that round. Works fine. Just not quite enough grip there for me personally. I found the knurling on the drop dead is a bit better, but it's not a big, big deal at all. The tolerance is not there. If you want to take this top cap off, it's a bit of a squeeze, but it does come off pretty well. I've never ever had a problem with Hell Vape RDAs. Generally, the tolerances are really good. And even long term, I found that the O rings last very well. Give them a clean up, give them a wash every now and then, fit them back in. They last quite a long time. The drop dead certainly have. So I have no real concerns about the longevity of the O rings, the tolerances. I think they're all going to last pretty well with this Dead Rabbit version two. Carrying on with. The build deck. Now, I want to show you a picture. I'll show you one here of the original Dead Rabbit. You can see this block. You can see this dual the dual post, four posts as such, three coils. And on this side, I'll show you what you've got in the version two. You can see the differences. They might not be massive, but I'd say there's enough there for this to be a fair upgrade. You can see that it's obviously easier to cut your coils below the below the posts. Um, you can see also that you might not see these pictures, but there's also a slightly different way that the juice flow works if you're using this as a squonker. Think it looks a bit better. Certainly looks a bit more better. It looks more up to date. It is an upgrade, it is an update, and it makes sense what they've done. There are there are improvements in my opinion. Now, I'd, like I say, I haven't tried the original, but you can see the difference. You can see the improvements. Um, with regards to actually building on the Dead Rabbit V2, Simple as peas, really, really easy. Drop your coils in, adjust them into place, tighten up them screws, and then you just get your cutters underneath and just cut the cut the ends away. If you don't cut the ends away, you've got a potential for the bottoms of those coils that you don't need to touch against the deck. That's gonna mess up your resistances. You're gonna have atomizer shorts and all that kind of problem. So make sure you cut them ends away. It can be a little bit tight, in fact, to cut these ends away, but it's not too difficult. You'll, you'll, you'll manage it. It's a little bit of a squeeze. I'd say though, it's probably a little bit easier than it is on the drop dead because you're cutting the coil away on the outside of the deck as opposed to kind of on the inside, if that makes sense. But generally, it's a very, very simple RDA to build on. Drop them in, screw them up, and you, you're pretty much there. And with regards to wicking, there's plenty of room there. There's a nice deep juice well for your cotton. You can fill that up and pack that in as much as you want. If you're going to squonk, Maybe thin it out a little bit if you're dripping on it like I am right now. Fill it with cotton, load it up. There's plenty of room there. Um, the airflow. Now, the airflow, there has been, whether there's been improvements, I don't know. I haven't tried the original, but you can see they've made some changes on the original top cap. If I take this off, I'll show you. On the original, you had this kind of style, but it was kind of angled down, which I think was great. It's good that they're angling the airflow down to hit the coils. Well, this one, they haven't done that angle, but they have given you the option of this kind of honeycomb look, which it does make a difference. It definitely makes a difference to the sound. It does restrict the airflow a little bit, but not enough. And of course, even still, you can still adjust that airflow to your preferred anyway. So it's not as if you can't restrict it to how you like it. It's not noisy, not turbulent. It's a, it's a pretty, I mean, it's about the same kind of noise level as such as the drop deads and the others in the range. It's kind of acceptable, not no turbulence, nothing annoying. Fairly quiet, if I'm honest. Now the maintenance, there's nothing to worry about. It's very, very simple. You can take it all apart, clean it all out. Like I said, about the O-rings, they, they seem to have lost in the drop dead. Now I don't know about this dead rabbit, but looking back at Hell Vape and my experience with Hell Vape, they've been pretty good. Had no real issues. Yeah, not really much to complain about. So I'm gonna give you a little bash. Now I've got to a set of proper coils aliens in here. They come out at 0.12 on oh, my call master. Of course, I've got it on the Fush semi mech mod. So I don't know what the wattage is. What's the wattage gonna be? I don't know, I haven't got my calculator. Let's give it a little bash. If it wants to work. Now you might've seen, well, in fact I was, holding that computer the wrong way. I was pretty much purging into my face. But if you make sure your airflow 
is either side of you. You can purge and it pretty much is directed out of the way and not straight into your eyeballs. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you're having a vape. Flavour and clouds. Well, of course, cloud production is to be expected. Works very well. And the flavour is as good as what I've experienced with the drop dead. Obviously, it depends on your build, but I quite like it. I like it with the airflow all the way open, but in this honeycomb style. If you do whack it up to the full airflow, so it's just two large open slots, it does make it more airy. What I really like is actually, as long as you position them cores right, and I'll take this barrel off for a minute. If you line them right, that airflow is perfectly on those coils. Absolutely spot on. You can see my cotton's getting a bit dry there. But I'm gonna give it another little bash. Done it again. Purged in my face. Purged in my face. But I still absolutely love it. The flavor is really, really good. Nice, clean airflow. Even with that airflow, like I say, all the way open like that, it's really not loud, noisy or turbulent, nice and airy. Pretty smooth as well, if I'm honest. So what are my final thoughts on the Dead Rabbit version 2? I don't really have any complaints. I really don't have any complaints for a mainstream RDA, and that has been out for quite a while. And that's also one thing I want to pick up on is the fact that now this has been out for quite a while, you can pick it up for a really decent price. So definitely shop about for this because you'll find it in all, sort of, all sorts of colours. Uh, it's probably around the £20 mark, which I think for a Hell Vape RDA with the... The experience I've got with them with the quality, uh, that how easy they are to build on, the finish on them lasts really well. I mean, this blue one's been through hell and back. And it's really, I mean, it's a bit battered, but it's still it's still absolutely fine. They don't get they don't get too hot when you're chain vaping on them. They dissipate that heat really well. The build deck, the screws last really well. I haven't once replaced a screw on any of my drop dead RDAs. I imagine the Dead Rabbit is gonna last very much the same. It's gonna work very well long-term. So if you're looking for a reliable RDA that you can, you can put some big fat cores into, chuck some clouds, or you wanna tame it down a little bit and have something with a higher resistance and use every day, you can do that, no problem at all. And it does squonk very well as well. So I hope that's helpful, folks. If it was, hit the like button or subscribe if you fancy it. Of course, you can see my latest review there and a random one right there. I'm Flacco Vapor. Thanks for watching.